So that's the introduction to my go-kart build. I hope you enjoy this series. I will showcase each component as, as it progresses and uh, hopefully it will be a, an entertaining and enlightening uh, series. Welcome to the first part of the series of the go-kart build. This is a two-seater shifter cart that I will be calling the Happy Monster. You'll see why. Uh, it consists of a tubular frame and there will be a few purchase components on here, on here which I'll, I'll show. Uh, most of it will be fabricated from scratch. Um, we'll go straight to the drawing. Like I said, it's based on a, a slick track go-kart or a racing cart, but with a little bit more stability for two people, of course. At the moment, I, I don't have a few things designed in here. I, I was going to do them when it was built um, and put together because then I can see, for example, the seats. Then I'll know where I want to put the seats, what's the most comfortable position. Um, and, and I don't have the seats yet, so I, I didn't have anything to put in there. Uh, the, the engine, of course, I, I have the engine, but I, I don't want to put it in yet because I need the seats there to see where I, if I got to overhang it from the back or, or whatnot. Uh, so what this consists of, uh, uh, the different colors just delineate a, whether it's a plate uh, or, or the green is the tubing or other things. Uh, it just helps me to see what, what I have planned for that. Um, so, so that's why I call it the, the happy monster. <laughs> Have fun with the bumpers. Um, so every, the tubular frame will be made in one, as far as I can build it in one piece, meaning I'll, I'll take one piece and bend the, put the bends in it. Um, before I started this video series, I actually have the bump, the back bumpers made. And I'll show that in the, we'll see that when I do the, uh, the assembly of the tubular frame. Um, uh, so, some of the things I have, uh, these, these knuckles for the spindles, um, and I'll, I'll do a series for each, kind of each main component, um, for example, the, these, uh, the spindles. Uh, this this is a steering box that I came up with. I wanted to do a rack and pinion, but instead of popping out a hundred bucks, I thought I'd I'd just make one myself. It'd be a lot more fun and just fun. Um, uh, I'll also do maybe some of the bending, some of the the, the side rails. Um, and a lot of the welding in here. Uh, all of this tubing, it will be stainless steel, 304, one inch OD, 035 wall. Um, I'm gonna use stainless steel where I can. Um, and then there'll be some stainless steel and some aluminum. There'll be a few pieces of carbon steel, um, mostly where either, either I don't have the material or it, it'd just be easier. For example, on these on these spindles, actually I have these drawn. Uh, I'll go to know. On these spindles, where I really want the strength, I'd like to do forty one forty, but that's but where I have to weld them, I don't trust that. So I like to do ten forty five um, because I have to put a fine thread on the end and. Stainless can be gummy, so it, it would be have a hard time getting a good thread there, um, and and it won't. It's, it's not a big deal. Um, some things the the box, the steering box will be aluminum, and uh, the rims are aluminum. The tires, are, uh, this will have a disc brake. I haven't decided on the gear ratio yet. Uh, the motor I'm starting with is. 
fairly small. It's a hundred cc uh, four stroke, uh, so it's it, it's a fairly small engine. It'll fit very easily in here. I'd like to move up to a hundred and fifty or two hundred eventually, or two fifty two stroke would be nice. Um, so. Uh, I'll go to the we'll go to the steering box and I'll, we'll look at that design. So here's the steering box that I came up with uh, for the shifter cart. It consists of a body. This is all aluminum except for the the shaft are are steel and the the plate down here is steel. It's actually stainless steel. Um, it it's just a it's a two to one gear ratio I wanted to have a good amount of feedback uh, but I I want the feedback but I don't want to I don't want that one to one I want to have the uh, uh, to actually have to turn the wheel to get a good spin to, to get a good uh, direction the cart is designed to have 45 degrees of, of uh, wheel turn both directions uh, which should be plenty, for, I mean, quite a bit for that for that cart. Um, I'll be able to adjust the exact output ratio with this plate, uh, depending on how long or short I make it. Um, I kind of went in the middle. This should give me around uh, in and out with this plate. I should be about 1.4, uh, 1.44 to one. Uh, so that so just under 90 degrees of steering wheel rotation will give me the 45 degrees. So, um, and of course this is bolted on so I can change it if I need to, it's keyed. Um, and then a lot, of, a lot of the outer design is just aesthetics. I wanted the bolts to make it look cool. Um, and, uh, I've already decided when I do this, um, it's going to be reversible. If if I have if I need to change, um, if I want to change the ratio the other way, but I don't think I'll have to do that. Um, tie rods and all that. Here's the steering knuckle with a spindle. Um, I actually have these are a part that I purchased, uh, and I'll have to make the, the spindle hub here, and then a spindle, and then thread the end for the nut. Uh, and the the wheel uh, hub I I purchased also, and it just slides on this five eighths. It's got it's bearing. Um, I'm actually going to make, there'll be a bearing on the top and bottom and uh, just give good freedom. It's, it should give plenty of strength instead of just a, a long sleeve bearing or something. And then this is where the tie rod will connect. So that's the introduction to my uh, go-kart build. I hope you'll enjoy this series. I'll showcase each component as it's fabricated here on my channel, Fabital.